we uh, we were just playing a clip of Bill Nye, the science guy, saying, you know, are we in a computer simulation? I mean, is this is this the real world or are we just do you know are are we like in the matrix and we don't know it? And his conclusion was, there's no, there's no way to know, right? But here's where it gets really interesting. Uh, this was a study that was published. Uh, out of uh, the University of Amsterdam in, in the Netherlands in, um, let's see, what was the uh, the journal? I don't have the journal. Uh, the, uh, the title of it is Anomalous Anticipatory Brain Activation Preceding Exposure of Emotional and Neural Pictures. Now, this is a fancy way of saying that what they did was they hooked a bunch of people up to uh, functional MRI machines, in other words, uh, brain scan machines. And then they had a computer that had a random number generator, and that random number of generator would associate the numbers with particular pictures, and they would, it would just like, it would throw pictures at people, randomly. And there would be a 7.5 second pause, then three seconds of the pictures, and then a 10 second blank screen. And then, you know, the process starts over again. The participant presses the button and in seven and a half seconds they get a picture. And a very small percentage of the pictures had either sexual or violent content. They were, they were erotic pictures or they were violent pictures. Very small percentage of them. And they, they, they I'm quoting now from the study, they examined the neural substrates of anticipation each stimulus sequence started with the 4.2 second presentation of a fixation point before and during the anticipation was measured. Great care was taken to randomize stimulus conditions with replacement using different pictures, pictures for each stimulus presentation. Um, and in any case, here's the bottom line. Um, what happened was that before people were shown the erotic pictures, or the violent pictures, more in the case of men than women. In the case of the erotic pictures, it was equal for men and women. Bef before an erotic picture came up, people actually had changes in their brain indicating that they were anticipating it, and this was before the computer had selected it. It was completely random. There was no way for them to know. And yet their brain was reacting to something that had not yet happened with accuracy. This is pretty incredible. I've got, you know, all the charts and graphs and all this kind of stuff and the, the data analysis on this. And, and uh, the, the summary in this, the uh, relative effect expressed as the difference divided by the average of the two mean anticipations is 4% when average per subject. So roughly 4% of the time, I and mean, this is statistically significant, I mean, it should be zero, right? I, you know, the, the, the pictures are random. But people were anticipating them correctly. In other words, they, they, the body, you know, before they saw a picture of a, a house or a car or a cat or whatever, you know, their, their brain was just like, duh, 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 duh. and then here comes a picture of a naked person. And, and But before the picture is even, before the computer has even randomly shown that picture, the person's brain is already going, oh, here comes the naked person picture. There is no explanation for this, which is pretty amazing. No explanation, no known explanation for this. Meanwhile, Promobot IR77, a new robot that learns from its experiences and from its surroundings. They're having, there's actually a movement to stop them from, from shutting down, euthanizing this computer. But here's the problem. The computer has escaped from the lab twice. It keeps trying to escape. This is a computer that's, you know, it's programmed with artificial intelligence and it's learning. Despite reprogramming it twice, the computer continues to attempt to escape and they are now considering scrapping it. The other robots, which have been cr created from the same series, 
have been well behaved and they are not escaping, says the team. So what's going on with that? Nobody knows. So is the world massively more complex than we think? Is there, is there something deeper than the consciousness that we think we have? Do you understand? I, I, I think the answer is a fairly obvious yes. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.